So I have been so excited to feature this brand for a really, really long time now. The brand I'm talking about is Fivina. I'm going to show you an example of one of their beautiful, beautiful boxes. And Fivina is just such a special brand that I actually really wanted to talk to one of the founders, um, Irvina, talk to her personally before I actually did this brand overview because I just wanted to make sure that I was doing it as good of justice as I possibly can. So just to kind of give you an overview of the brand, Fivina is rooted in the principles of traditional Chinese medicine and traditional Chinese medicine abbreviated, we'll just say TCM from here on out. Um, so it is based on TCM and both of the founders, Irvina and Angela, are very well educated in TCM. Irvina actually has her doctorate in TCM and it also includes a uh, focus on autoimmune issues as well as she is one of the only 100 registered TCM dermatologists in the whole world. So we are really lucky to have her behind this brand uh, for us to experience. And then Angela, who's also the co-founder of Fivina, she has a master's in TCM and she also has her emphasis in nutrition. So the two of them are just a fantastic team. And if you've experienced Fivina already, you know that they are incredibly skilled at what they do. And if you haven't, then hopefully you'll learn a little bit more about the brand along the way here in this video and it will pique your interest in trying something from them. And I also wanna really focus on the fact that TCM is not a marketing tool for these two ladies. They are really rooted in the history of traditional Chinese medicine. Um, for them, it just goes into that deep history and it's based on ancient principles of Chinese medicine while also integrating green science. So let's talk about the green science aspect for a minute because Irvina and I did talk a lot about this, but to just kind of distill it down into what she was saying, green science for them means maximum efficiency with minimum toxicity and minimum impact on the environment. So they're very concerned with the environment to do the least harm. And for example, with their preservatives, they use sustainable, safe, and eco-friendly preservatives and all natural preservatives. And then also combining that green science with ancient principles of TCM, which are going to be uh, really balancing your energy and it's really focused on chi. Now I am not a expert on TCM by any means. I get acupuncture every month, if not more, and that's been going on for a good, I don't know, maybe six to eight years, something like that. So I know the beneficial effects that TCM has on me and I've also taken Chinese herbs for various issues in the past as well, and they've worked really, really well for me. So while I love reaping the benefits of traditional Chinese medicine, I'm definitely not an expert. So this is definitely like an overview of this whole thing. But really what Irvina was talking about is she wants this line to really help boost your chi, which is the energy in your body. Um, from what I understand. And so for example, the ancient principles would be using cooling herbs in the summer, warming herbs for the winter, and then always having that in balance, all these different elements in balance. And the, the five elements of Chinese medicine are wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. And again, from what I understand, is just really trying to keep one's um, chi in balance, depending upon how much you might have of these elements in your constitution. And then we also talked about how they go about formulating their products. And so for example, and we'll get into this a little bit more, but like with their beauty oils, the first thing that they are going to be looking at is the TCM, the herbs that are gonna be beneficial in the blend. So that's always the paramount concern when creating um, a product for them. And then the second, like with the oil, it's going to be the oil blend. And the main purpose of the oil blend is a base to help the TCM components penetrate into your skin. And then the third would be the essential oils that are used. And the essential oils are always rooted in the TCM principles. And one thing that I noticed is that these products smell gorgeous. I absolutely love the scent. They really, really do resonate with me. But uh, Irvina was saying that the scent is really a bonus. It's not, they're not formulated to smell a certain way. The essential oils rather are chosen for their TCM principles. If you've ever been on their website, you'll see that the products are divided up by season. So spring, summer, fall, and winter. And Irvina said that it's not necessarily that you have to use those products during those specific seasons, but it's just that your skin might have certain needs during those seasons. She also mentioned that there are seasons of life, like for teenagers, their overriding season is in a sort of a life uh, developmental stage 
would be spring when you're older it would be winter when maybe there's more of a focus on nourishment and moisturizing your skin so she said that even you know seasons can change within the day for a person they can change for whatever age you are and then the literal changing of the seasons so it's definitely rooted in seasonal skincare but you can definitely taper it to the needs of where you're at uh, given your age, skin type, what your skin's going through and what you might need. What's interesting is Irvina and Angela met in TCM school and they started the business together. And if I'm remembering correctly, Irvina said that it was Angela who, while she was in school, created a lip balm. And so they decided to get together, start this business, and they started with a lip balm, which is now their beauty balm. And I'll show you that everything's in this white porcelain glass it's just beautiful and i have been using this quite a bit this is the newest product that i have received from fivena and i'm really really loving it a lot so this is what they started with and then in 2015 they launched with five products so let's go ahead and start talking about my experience with the products since i just mentioned the divine all seasons balm let's go ahead and talk about this this is 28 dollars so kind of, you know, the, and just in general, this line is definitely more on the expensive side, but I do really feel like given everything that Angela and Arvina are bringing to this brand, their knowledge of TCM and also the beautiful ingredients that they use, this is one of those lines that I personally would be willing to spend that extra money on. Um, but full disclosure, she did send me this to try after, after our conversation, she sent me this, which was really sweet. So in the Divine All Seasons Balm, you're gonna find American Ginseng, which is great for wound repair and improving circulation. There's Shisandra Berries in here, which gives a protective barrier that's very healing. Solomon Seal, which is going to soften your complexion because it's loaded with polysaccharo polysaccharides and allantoin. And then there's also Goji Berries in here, which is a super antioxidant with beta carotene. It's gonna help repair and glow your skin up. There's also camellia seed oil in here, beeswax, sesame seed oil. There's rose geranium, two different types of rose essential oil. And it, it really does uh, smell very rosy. It's very beautiful. I've been using this on my cuticles. I've been using it on my lips. Actually, I have it on my lips today because I like wearing it over a lip product that might be a little bit on the matte side. And I want just a tiny hint of extra moisture, not something that's gonna be super glossy, super thick and gloppy. Uh, that's why this is perfect because this balm is a little bit on the thin side so while i like using it alone as a lip balm um, it's not going to be one of those ones that i'm going to reach for overnight because it probably wouldn't stay on my lips for the whole entire night because it because of that thin texture but this is beautiful for wearing under lipstick over lipstick it's a fantastic little pot of gold here i've really been enjoying it and so thank you so much Irvina, for sending this my way to try now let's talk about gui ying next so this is a decollete balm for your decolletage your decollete so your chest and your neck Again, beautiful porcelain jar. The Gui Ying is such a beautiful, stunning product. Let me show you what it looks like. And this is $65. I have used a pretty good amount of it. I absolutely love using it, but the reason why I haven't just completely finished it is because a little goes a long way. And the scent, oh my gosh, the scent is just, it's just beautiful. It smells like yuzu and bergamot. And the reason why they created this was to really help increase drainage, really stimulate circulation in the chest area and for massage and to really help focus on the chest health, breast health. And some of the beautiful ingredients in here are forsythia, which is an anti-inflammatory herb, kupuwakao butter, which is gonna provide moisture and improve elasticity, pink lotus, which is a sacred flower that helps unlock stuck emotions and connects mind to the heart. So this is one of those truly self-care products where when you are massaging this on, you get the beautiful scent. It's again, supposed to help circulation, move stagnation. And what I actually noticed after using it is it really, it, it really seemed to lighten a couple of sunspots that I have on my chest. And I talked to Irvina about that and she said that maybe just kind of moving that chi and that stagnation has helped to break up those spots. So I don't know exactly what, what the magic is behind it, but that is something I've definitely noticed since I've been using this. There's also sesame seed oil in here that I wanted to mention because I'm really loving products that have sesame seed oil in it. 
that has really been working well for my skin lately. So I love that that is in here. And then let's just talk about the biocellulose mask. These are $20 a piece, and these have schisandra berries in it, which are going to be healing and protective, goji berries, which helps repair and impart glow, peony root, which is anti-inflammatory, Job's tears, and that's an ancient grain that calms and clarifies the skin. There's also sodium hyaluronate in here, calendula, licorice. Licorice, of course, is great for brightening the skin. So if you are a big fan of the biocellulose masks, I would definitely pick one of these up at some point and just treat yourself to that. I'm not a huge face mask fan, but out of all the face masks that I've used, I found this one to be definitely the most comfortable on my face. I am just absolutely in love with the Guiying, and what I forgot to mention is that there is a promotion going on between now and Valentine's Day and you get a mini Gui Ying with any purchase of $65 or over. And like I said, that goes through February 14th. So great timing for me to be doing this for you guys because if you decide you want to order something, you will get a special bonus of the Gui Ying. Now moving on to what are probably my favorite products from this line and these are the Hydrolots. Again, beautiful porcelain packaging. I just love these bottles. And so what happened was when I received the Boxwalla box, the Fivina Boxwalla box, I was DMing with Irvina about certain products or ingredients, I can't remember exactly. And that was back when I had my shoulder surgery. And she was so sweet and sent me the Autumn Grace Hydrolot as well as the Grace Beauty Oil. I really cannot speak highly enough about these. First off, the scent of Grace is gorgeous. I can't really imagine any other toner smelling as good as this one does to me personally. So the deal with the Grace Hydra Lot, and this is $45 for 60 mils, and it contains reishi, which is an ancient super mushroom with antioxidants and anti-allergenic properties. It has rosehip, which you guys know is high in vitamin C. It's gonna help smooth and tone your skin. There's mulberry leaf in here, which neutralizes free radicals, which can cause skin damage and fine lines. This also has goji berries in it, which is gonna help support firming and tightening of the skin. Um, as far as the scent goes, there is osmanthus and champaka in here. And she chose osmanthus because it is a fall blooming flower and it's also rich in niacinamide. So I did not know that about osmanthus. I just know that I absolutely adore the scent, but I didn't realize that it also had skincare benefits to it. And the scent really, really does smell like osmanthus. If you're an osmanthus fan, then you'll know that it has that like sweet kind of apricot -y scent to it but this is not too fruity. It's still really grounded uh, because it's got some sandalwood in here as well. It's just got one of those scents that every time I use it, I just, I just fall in love with it more. And Osmanthus is just such a beautiful scent to me. So that is why this is a huge hit, the scent, and then also of course the way it makes my skin feel. And it's just, as I've mentioned, it's loaded with all these beautiful TCM herbs and it really helps hydrate really well. It calms my skin. It works beautifully with all my other products. So this is a huge, huge hit for me. And then just moving real quickly to the quiescent. So then I love that one so much that I went ahead and I bought the quiescent winter Hydrolot. This too is absolutely stunning. This has sandalwood and violet and frankincense and myrrh. Um, it too has such a stunning, stunning fragrance. The frankincense and myrrh give it kind of that grounding, really earthy, so almost incense-y but you don't feel like you're spraying incense on your face at all. It just kind of grounds the overall scent. The violet gives it just the, the slightest floral hint. It Again, this one is really, really beautiful as well. I think if I had to pick an absolute favorite, it would definitely be the Grace, but Quiescent is stunning also. Um, it has hawthorne berry in it, which is high in antioxidants, promotes circulation, rhodiola, which stimulates elastin production and is going to strengthen your skin barrier. It also has Douglas fir in it, which apparently, and I didn't know this, is a um, it helps to balance the pH of the skin. And of course, it also gives that nice grounding energy for the winter. I, I really don't smell a lot of the Douglas fir. It's not super piney in my mind. I kind of get more of that, like the, the frankincense and the myrrh and the violet in this. But regardless, this is also super beautiful. In terms of the effects on the skin, I don't really notice a huge difference in how my skin feels. They, you know, my skin loves both of them. My skin always feels very hydrated and nourished after using both of them. 
but just for scent alone, I really am drawn to Grace very much so. This will always be in my arsenal from now on because I just, as you can tell, I'm just super crazy for it. So let's go ahead and move on to the beauty oil. And I do have the Grace Autumn Beauty Oil. This again is what the bottle looks like. As I mentioned, everything comes in this beautiful white porcelain. I apologize for the lighting situation. It's really dark and rainy outside right now, so I'm really relying on my ring light to illuminate myself and the background here. So there's probably gonna be some fading in and out of the light as I show you products, so apologize for that. But anyway, back to the Grace. This is 145 for one ounce, so definitely on the expensive side. I am so in love with this product too. The scent, again, is just really speaks to me because it has osmanthus in it. That's the first thing that I noticed when I opened up this product was just the absolute stunning scent. And let me show you what the oil looks like. My hand actually is on the dry side right now, so this is perfect. So that's what the oil looks like. The osmanthus in here has a little bit more of like a, a smooth buttery scent and that's probably just the oils that are in this uh, oil blend that are kind of creating that buttery scent. Mm, it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, in this beauty oil are reishi, mushrooms, chrysanthemum, which is going to repair uh, oxidative damage. It's got centella asiatica, which is also go-to cola and that has regenerating properties. It's gonna improve elasticity. Like I said, it's got the osmanthus in it, which is um, rich in the niacinamide. Just a stunningly gorgeous beauty oil. Um, I think the first ingredient is camellia seed oil. There's also sandalwood in here. And as I've been mentioning in past videos, I've really been enjoying just doing one drop of oil during the day over whatever you know toner or serum I've used. And then either I can just have that as my moisturizer or have foundation on top of that and this has been another one of those oils that works really really well for the daytime for me and then of course i love using it at night because the scent is so beautiful so that covers it on all the five Vena products that i have i have been incredibly impressed by all of them i think if you go and read the ingredient lists of these products i think you'll be really really impressed with all the beautiful herbs that are in here and like i mentioned talking to irvina everything in here has a specific purpose the ingredients and the herbs are blended in a very specific way to have the maximum effect on your skin so i am just a huge fan of Fivina now it definitely was one of my big discoveries of 2018 i'm pretty sure i included the hydrolot in my top products of 2018 so if you have questions about any of these products that i have featured here any products on the website that you're unsure about i can definitely get those answers for you either if i don't have it from my own knowledge base here i can definitely talk to irvina about it and get answers for you if you if you do have any questions so as i said this is a great time to discover this brand because you'll get the the mini gift with purchase gui ying Declote balm if you do have a purchase over $65. And this is not a sponsored video. I was sent most of these products by the brand and, and via Boxwalla, but I have just fallen in love with this brand and will definitely be purchasing these products on my own in the future. I really want to try the other two Hydrolots, although I wanna keep my expectations low because I just feel like Grace, how can you top Grace in my book? But I have heard great things about the summer and the spring Hydrolots, so I definitely want to give those a try so when i do place another order i'll probably get another hydrolot to try oh and i also really want to try their cleanser their cleanser looks really interesting and i do believe that it rinses off cleanly i don't know if it foams at all or if it's oil based i'd have to go back and check on that but that is also on my list of something to try from Fivina. So I hope you all enjoyed this brand overview. I know that for me, it has really been a special treat to be able to speak to Irvina, get to know more about her, her background, and just the love and the care and all of that TCM knowledge that they both bring to this brand. It just was very impressive to me and I feel really connected to this line for sure. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.